I wanted to do something that wasn't entirely out of my wheelhouse, but was uh, was fun and for kids. And you know, I got kids now. I got a 26 year old, so he's been able to come see most of the movies I've been making for I don't know, uh, 13 years. And uh, and then, but the young ones, they're always home at premiere night. So I thought that would be fun. And uh, honestly, there was something about just the the gentle sweet adventure and the idea of communication and empathy and all that stuff that that wasn't I hadn't really been out of the mire of uh, you know intergalactic threats for a while so I, I like the idea of a, of a return to the kind of movie that that I grew up watching when I was a kid in the beginning of the movie when we find Doolittle he's in recluse mode so I wanted to think about the character that I'm creating is someone who has become a hermit and isolated himself, probably due to some a trauma or emotional or disappointment or whatever. And his reasoning is that he's taken it uh, upon himself to help the animals only, but really it's that thing of where he's given up on humanity and uh, he has uh, secreted himself to this estate that was gifted him by uh, the queen. This local boy who probably also is developing the gift of being able to uh, understand and eventually communicate with uh, across a species, genus and phylum. But he brings this injured squirrel because there's a, obviously the urban or the suburban legend of uh, of this this crazy you know doctor who who lives in this estate, and he just happens to bring him by, right on the same day that Lady Rose uh, comes from a Buckingham Palace to say that uh, he's being summoned to try to ascertain what is ailing the Queen. It really does take this boy, who is very game and very intuitive, and doesn't have the best home life, but. It's, uh, it's a bit of a stretch that you'd think he would have some amazing learning experience and adventure with this hermit. But uh, the animals kind of clean him up, and then against his will, the kid really makes a strong showing of how game he is to want to be part of this. And so while he still gives him a lot of guff along the way, he really warms to this young fellow. Harry Collette is a, uh, a real rising talent and uh, a star. I remember seeing his screen testing and went, oh my God, I, I wonder if that's what like Tom Cruise was like when he was 11. And, um, but he's very much his own guy and he's, he's just uh, a really capable kid. As far as the, the design goes, we would go into these sets and with Dominic, the, uh, the person in charge of the production designer, we would, um, we would just kind of walk around the spaces and outfit them and talk about them for hours and really think about it in terms of the blocking, but also it's not often that you're doing a living room set where you're saying, all right, now, wouldn't we have to make room for a, a polar bear to get in here? And what about, where, where can the giraffe put her head in the window? And, you know, and what's a comfortable place for a silverback gorilla to uh, sleep? So that was a lot of what we did, was literally just trying to set up all these environments to, to house this motley crew of uh, creatures.